The kick is deep and out of the back of the end zone. Ford, Offman, first down at the 25. And here he is on the ground, and he did this well last week and slides his way out for about five yards to the 30. He's in as an extra receiver, and it's an empty backfield for Logan Thomas. Second down short, five quarterback draw, puts his head down and gets the first down. Last year in the game. On that last carry and a first down. They fake the stretch play, and on the bootleg, he's going to throw late and throw out of bounds. Second down at 10. Again, an empty set for Thomas. Miami brings an extra rusher. He throws outside, completes. Out to Willie Burns, short of the first down, though. It'll bring up the guy that really needs to know the snap count is the center. Yeah. He didn't know it. Third down and eight. Screen pass set up too high. Almost could have been picked off. Went in and out of the hands of Trey Edmonds. Stacey Coley, the freshman, waits on the other end of A.J. Hughes' kick. And it's a dandy. Wow, what a punt. All the way back to the two-yard line. Almost put a knee down, kept his balance. And Coley weaves his way back to around the 18-yard line. About that injury that Holly talked about at the beginning of the game. In the pistol. Our side tight end, and he's going to get buried for no gain. Stop the laps, the pocket from their defensive tackle spots and make life miserable for a quarterback. That one's caught by Coley. Coley in the open field. You can forget about it. Stacy Coley will take it the distance. 81 yards, touchdown Miami. At the four yard line is Knowles. And Knowles weaving through the Canes out to the 20 yard line, empty backfield. And now Coleman will join Thomas there. Blitz coming off the corner. Thomas has time, can see over everybody. That's a good thing about how tall he is. And he picks up five yards out the defensive personnel on the field. Second down and 10. And on the zone read, a loss on the play. And I mean big time. And Shayon Green. Thomas asking for the ball. Two on the game on the uh, play clock. He just barely got the snap. And now inside his own five throws over the middle and complete Coleman. The intent he should get excellent field position out of this kick. Coley's already made one big play tonight. Back pedals to the 33. Slipped a little bit again. Made the first man miss. He might have another big play. And he lost the ball. And I think Virginia Tech's got it. They got to try to establish some running game. They got to get Trey Edmonds involved. Here's a stretch play. They're trying to get him involved. And he got a yard. That's it. Play a fifth year. They've got him and Justin Renfro did the same thing for Virginia. Those two guys have given them more defensive line depth this year. They fake the stretch play and throw back across. Nice play to DJ Coles. And Coles, one of our impact players down inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. Shotgun. He'll ride Edmonds and keep it himself, going back the other way with a counter, and got it inside the 25-yard line as we the Hokies trying to answer here at the eight-minute mark, first quarter. On second and five again. Play action throws complete again to Coles going the other way, and Coles has got it all the way down to the 10-yard line. Cheon Green back out there for Miami. It's first and goal. We're going to have to earn it because it's right at the 10-yard line. They've had a couple of turnovers in the red zone this year. Edmonds holding it high and tight and heading to the corner. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Wow, they made that one look easy. Didn't they? Touch After their loss to Florida State last week. Kick will go to about the six-yard line. Burns weaving through traffic. Could be another big play. And he lost the ball. Again. Scramble. Virginia Tech might have another one team because of Frank Beamer not so as Todd just said because they're giving up yardage but at least they're recovering fumbles play action the Thompson all day and he throws to Dimitri Knowles who's run out of bounds after a pickup of Drock on the interception part second and four he's in trouble here but he got away and he's on the run first down and a whole bunch more for Logan Thomas and he tiptoes out of bounds without it getting touched it up and they're driving again 
High snap. Thomas got it down and got it in the hands of Edmonds. And Edmonds inside the 25. It's a pass all the way to the far side. Put it on the money. First down throw. And the ball is out again. And Miami had a shot at this. And Virginia Tech recovered it. They're going to try to get Edmonds in the end zone. And he is. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Nice. This kick's returnable from the goal line. Corn Elder. Elder on the far side, and here's another big kick return. Elder all the way out around the 40-yard line. He lifts that foot off the ground as he's releasing the ball. It's still bothering him quite a bit. Here's a give to Gus Edwards. We expected to see him early and off. Crawford came in for an injured Duke Johnson in the North Carolina game, ran very well, former high school quarterback. Here he is on the handle, and only got about a yard before he got leveled. He's in there on third downs. Morris over the middle, and it's going to be a first down. Nice job by Waters. Second effort broke through the would-be tackle. Nice path to look through right in the middle of the field there for Morris on the throw and back to the ground. This time it's the fullback, Haggins. It's a new twist. Here comes Crawford trying to cut back, and the Hokies are not going to let him. James Gale, the defensive end. Pressure calls. Third and long here. We'll see if he brings some pressure. On the bootleg, Morris better be careful from behind. His throw knocked down. Antone Exum, nice. O'Donnell will kick Willie Byrne. His back deep. Byrne with a fair catch. We'll just let it go. It's going all the way to the end zone. With a minute 50 speed on the road to help your confidence. J.C. Coleman. And Coleman powers his way out. Forced into action as the feature guy. They fake it to him. Thomas on the bootleg. The throw wide opens a fullback. Rodgers. And Sam Rodgers, I think they thought he was going to go out of bounds. Tracy Howard was kind of leaning that way. And he's coming at his face. He can get the ball over him easily for a completion. Now they go back to J.C. Coleman. And he picks up three. In the final half minute of the first quarter. Joshua Stanford in motion toward the ball. Somewhat of a play fake. And now a deep ball in the middle. And that is broken up by Artie Byrne. Two slot receivers and two wideouts. All kind of packed in tight for Logan Thomas in the shotgun. Throws far side. Caught, but it's not going to be a first down. It's been highlights for Miami until the end of them. Right. And they put it on the ground. Here's Hughes punt. A knuckleball up into the wind and the rain and out of bounds. Really, that, that's really a misleading yes, it camera is. shot. Yes, yeah, it really was. By Scotty Johnson. Yeah. That, that's not fair. Yeah. On second down and 12 against the big back, Gus Edwards. Not much of a game, though. Maybe. Morris in immediate danger, sidestepped it, and then threw it in the turf. And Do that. Pat O'Donnell, you look behind him, low snap. He handled it, and he got the kick away somehow. But there's a whistle, and they're going to stop this play. Oh, they're oh. saying his knee was down. Three critical mistakes by Miami in the kicking game. Two fumbles, yep. and there it is. It's so far, the decision-making of Logan Thomas has been outstanding. Bootlegs have been really good for him, as well as the quarterback run. Here's Edmonds on the edge, and Edmonds bangs his way inside the five-yard line. Best run of the night. Edmonds stays in there in the pistol set behind Logan Thomas. He gets the carry again, and he's in. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Let's see if they can hold on to one here. Brant over to kick. And this one's returnable from the goal line. Coley, who had a long one earlier. Puts both hands around the football as he crossed the 20 yard. Big positive play. That was an 81 yard touchdown pass. Here's Morris coming up throw and got it out to his tight end, Walford. And he's out to the 30 yard line. In an eye backfield this time behind Morris. And it'll be the second man around the corner. And Crawford, close, but I don't think he got it. Simon in as well for the Canes on third down and one. And Edwards has got the one. And two or three more. At the 36 yard line. 
They fake the end around, and here comes Hearns on the run, and he's got blockers in front. Hearns backpedals his way almost to the 40-yard line. This is run formation and personnel all the way for Miami. That's why Virginia Tech right on the line of scrimmage. Here's the big freshman, but only a yard. Kendall Fuller made the tackle. Situation, Miami getting it done with the pass right now. Very little on the ground. Play action, here's where Morris wants to take his shot. Off his back foot, he fires down the middle of the field and nobody there. Offense or defense, but a flag in the backfield. In one man route, Nicholas is gonna come in here late. Iffy, questionable, probably could have backed off though. His receivers at this point are all to the right side. And they're gonna run counter back this way and it doesn't work. Tariq Edwards, nice tackle drop. Second down and 14. Stepped into that one. Far side. Got a man. Touchdown, Allen Hearns. They might say he was out on the one. They're, they're conferring right now. I know it's an eye backfield with Edwards, a tailback. Hagan's the up man. Hagan's will lead the way. Edwards trying to get to the corner. Tripped and knocked out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. And now. Dallas Crawford back in there as a tailback. And he gets the carry, and he gets the touchdown, diving in. The Hurricanes from two yards out. Knowles and Coleman back at the goal line on the other end. And this one goes out the back of the end zone. All right, Reese, keep us posted. From the Big 12 here in the ACC, it's Coleman. It's or anything. Yep. And a nine-yard pickup. Second down and one. And now it's Logan Thomas all the way. He dives forward out to the 39. They only had 55 yards rushing on 29 carries last week when they lost to Boston College. Whoa, that was a nice catch to the back of the ball by Byrne. That maybe almost whizzed by him before he could put his hands up. But he... Nice play fake. Thomas pulls up over the middle nice. and got it complete again to Willie Burns. Coleman's going to get the carry. But the last one left, this one right, and probably going to have about three holding calls in the same spot. You've made all the right calls so far here in the first half. Going to throw a screen pass. Safe play. Got it to J.C. Coleman. He's got a convoy in front. Coleman slips on his own. Jimmy Gaines made sure he was going to slip there again. Empty backfield, but now it's a fly sweep fake. And Thomas comes up firing. Got his man. And it's Joshua Stanford. DJ Coles, by the way, is back in there at wide receiver. And a nifty four-yard run by J.C. Coleman. Didn't... There was movement. Yep. Receivers took off too soon. Looked like all three of them on the... At least four of them to the left side. Thomas. I don't know if it was going to be a quarterback draw, but it drew a crowd. I know that. Thomas pressured again, lofts one out there, completes it to Stanford. And Stanford broke a tackle, cuts it down the sideline. He got a first down. He might score. Is he in? Touchdown. Wow. How did he do that? Should have been taken down way back upfield. Touchdown for Virginia Tech. And Stanford's first touchdown catch of the year, despite all the big numbers he put up last week. Stacy Coley out around the 23 yard line by two touchdowns again. Morris will give it off. Crawford is dropped for a loss. Great play, Luther Matty. Center in the hub of this Virginia Tech defense. Holly well, told you about those tackles for loss at the beginning of the ball game, and they got a big one there, a five yard loss. And then in facing right there that you just saw the true freshman out of Newton, Georgia, and they're playing that corner spot. Morris pressured, stepped up, now rolling. And he's going to have to run, and he's not going to get anywhere near the first down. Snap here now. The last one was low, and O'Donnell took a knee to handle it as he's set to punt. This one's perfect. Wow. And the kick, a deep one. Willie Byrne way back at the 16-yard line. And Byrne's going to go down. Well, he won't go down. And Byrne still fighting out around the 23-yard line. His team... His alma mater with a two-touchdown lead and another throw to Joshua Stanford. 
Second down and six with 128 remaining in the half. And Logan Thomas wanting to throw a screen again, does to Edmonds. Only about a two-yard gain, though. Nice job by Denzel Perryman. Willie Byrne is the motion man across the formation. Thomas deep drop and gonna be drops. That's the one thing he probably didn't want to do, Denzel. They do have Stacy Coley back deep. And this one's short and wobbly as well. Takes a Virginia Tech bounce, though, and Coley's just got to back away from it. He's gonna roll all the way down to the 25. There's still 59 seconds remaining in the half, and Miami's got one timeout left. Morris, look out from behind. Down he goes. James Gale, just kickoff. Yep, yeah, gonna try at least a sideline pass, I guess, and got it out to Herb Waters to go in the half. Morris down the sideline, and that one never got close. As Fourth down and ten. Pat O'Donnell handles it and just got it over the rush. That was close. Burn on the other end. Given ground to try to gain ground. And that's not going to work. He got leveled, and that might be a targeting penalty right there. Knee here with 11 seconds to go. And be very happy on the road in a Coastal Division ACC clash in Miami to have a two-touchdown lead. And Virginia Tech has shown an inability to pull those two to the ground. And we'll see what they do to open the third quarter. And this will be Burns a yard deep. And Burns again, nice return. Somersaults his way out around the 30-yard line. It's five at the 36. Here's a give to Crawford. And Crawford, positive yardage. Now, to start the second half, he said, if we can pull within seven, that prevents them from going to a shell and just running the football. Those Penn State guys think alike because that's what Todd just said a couple minutes ago, and that's not the way to do it. Wofford, the, the bigger back behind Morris and Hagen's the fullback, and he'll get the carry on third and two, and he won't get the first down. He won't even get the line of scrimmage. The punt again. Their third straight three and out for Miami going back to the second quarter. Bear catch, really burn on the other end around the 12 yard line. And we thank all of you that have served or are currently in the military. First and 10. Edmonds, yeah, they keep pushing the pile for a couple, maybe three. And he'll throw here over the middle, wide open. First down throw to DJ Coles, and he's still going. Wow! To the 45 yard line and the ball might have come out at the end i think he was down before it came out and it's coles who goes all the way out to the 46 yard line edmonds nice cut back in the middle and he goes for eight more second down and a yard that's the fullback rogers in there the freshman they're going to go his way with edmonds and edmonds has got the first down spinning for about five two touchdowns to the hokies of virginia tech who are unranked but not playing like it tonight. Coleman trying to get to the corner. Perryman ran him down, but he got five yards out of it. Thomas under center here. Play action. Wants to take a shot. Now he's going to run instead. Probably a good choice. Slides inside the 35. Coleman and Rogers behind Thomas. They got everybody in tight. But they are going to throw. Thomas fires, got it in and out of the hands. Should have been caught by Calvin Klein. Jernell from 51. Kick on the way. I don't think, I don't think they got the playoff. Okay, we're gonna play. Offense. And that Hughes is way back inside his own 45 here. Gets the kick away quickly, high, wobbly, and short, and fielded in traffic on a fair catch around the 14-yard line. Came on that one play, their first touchdown. Stephen Morris completes it this time. The Walford, the tight end, shorts going back to the second quarter. And thus still looking for a first down here. And they've got a first down here. And it's Dallas Crawford. Crawford across midfield. Crawford still going. What a run. That's more of what they've been looking for.
And it's Crawford again. This time about a three yard pickup. Snap count and the call. He gets under center now. And they will run it. Crawford keeps his legs driving. Got about three. It's going to bring up third down, though. Morris down the left sideline. Man open. Oh, and he didn't take the ball along. Herb Waters was thinking about the end zone. Forgot about the reception. Through the hands of the receiver and actually hit him in the face mask. And now they need a big fourth down here. Morris might run for it on that bad wheel, and he got it. Well, that shows some courage, isn't it? Now they go back to the eye, and it'll be the second man through. Loss of a yard for Gus Edwards. <laughs> on second and 11, quick drop, throw down the right sideline this time, and in and out of the hands again of Herb Waters. And Brandon Faison, the freshman, was right there with him. Down on this drive. Listen, it might be two down territory again. We'll have to wait and see. Morris. And this one laid out for incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. At least five is his longest. This will be a 49-yard attempt to try to cut into the Virginia Tech lead. And the kick is good. Five on our ESPN microphones. How about that? The kick, a yard deep to Dimitri Knowles. And Knowles made it to the 20, and that's it. We'll drive a coach crazy. Thomas will ride it and keep it, and gets into the third wave back there, and he get a, I think he's got a first down. Now it's Coleman. Coleman, little guy, squirts through there and got out to the 35, maybe the 36-yard line as we check in with Holly. Thomas, extra rushers coming, calmly throws it over the middle, and it's complete, and it is, guess who? Calvin Klein, including a touchdown last week. Fake the fly sweep and throw right back to the guy you faked it to, Coleman. And Coleman sliding for a first down. He's done with his arm tonight for Logan Thomas. This time it's run all the way. Miami this time wraps up Coleman. Nice job by Anthony Ciccolo. Three receivers to Logan Thomas right, but it's going to be him on the ground going nowhere this time. And they thought this was the best time to do it. Now, if they don't pick up third and 12, it might not look like such a great deal. Here comes a blitz. Thomas calmly rifles it complete, and on the run is Willie Byrne. And Byrne on the cutback inside the 20, lost the ball. Fumble and recovered in the end zone by Virginia Tech. Dimitri Knowles, touchdown. Egg on it, right? Yeah. Okay. Which is a frita caballo. There you go. So, and that was even better. Todd's Taste of the Town. Don't forget Todd's Taste of the Town books out there. Be a great stocking stuffer for you with the holidays getting closer. Virginia Tech taking care of business with a 35 to 17 lead after another touchdown on kind of a strange pass play. And now Stephen Moore is not finding any room. Luther Matty drops him. That they put themselves in this kind of hole. Morris on second and 17 going deep's got a man out there and it's caught maybe they can get back in it Ellen Hearns will take it touchdown Miami Pat O'Donnell the kick and a good kick well I like that but nonetheless the crowd's back in it the Canes are back in it with 91 seconds left in the third quarter. Trey Edmonds heading to the edge and got about five before he's run out of bounds. Second down and six. Play action. Throw is too high this time for the fullback. They picked up a big chunk of yards on that play in the first half. But they have a bunch set to the right of Logan Thomas. Three receivers tucked in tight on third down and six. Delayed blitz. There's the crossing route. It's wide open. It's Dimitri Knowles, and he's all the way to the 49 him go by because he can't stay with him is Denzel Perryman the 240 pound linebacker is not going to stay on that wide receiver and now Logan Thomas goes complete again Joshua Stanford and a pickup of 18 more change 34 yard line big opening for Edmonds and he almost got 10 yards out of it tripped up by Perryman 
All the receivers to Thomas Wright. That's where he's going with the ball on the screen. And first man missed Willie Byrne, but not the second one. They might run it a couple of times if they have to. Well, they're going to throw, but it's an easy swing pass. Out to Edmonds. Uh, Canes were waiting for him, and he evaded all of those and got it down to the 11-yard line. Well, Nifty run. That's the Hurricane defense. I like the way the Hokies wide receivers block for each other. He got another nice block, and here comes Edmonds again. And he powers his way down to the five tight ends. And a fullback. Second down and four. Gives it off. Edmonds weaving his way, and he's close. It's going to be first and goal at about the two-foot line. Derek Hopkins is in as a fullback right now. The up man with Edmonds behind him. He's going to try to follow the big fella, then cuts back and walks in. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Rants over to kick off. Coley and Elder back deep this time. And this is returnable. Going to come down at about the eight to Stacy Coley. He's had some nice returns tonight. And Coley, whoa, man. He ran over the kicker. Brees here, only 11 26 remaining for 11th ranked Miami to do something about this lead of Virginia Tech. And they're going deep again and overshooting Herb Waters, who had a half step back there. Other Kyle is banged up a little bit. Had two other brothers that played for Virginia Tech as well. So Vincent and Nina have done a lot for the Virginia Tech program, their parents. Third down and 10. Moore steps up. Deep middle, overshot Alan Hearns this time. Dramatically, when O'Donnell had to go down to one knee to field a snap, that turned into a touchdown. So did the other gaps on the special teams that Miami had tonight. Big lead here and the football from their own 20-yard line. And it's J.C. Coleman on the carry. <laughs> After only giving a field goal away for us today, the Knowles continue to roll. The number two spot in the BCS standings. Coleman again. And again, short gain, if any. Third down and five here. Willie Byrne in motion. Thomas rolls that way, throws to him on the run. And here's Byrne taking a helmet to helmet shot at the end of the play. Back to the ground game. And a short gain for Coleman. Tonight she got to come to the beach and she got wet. Here's Coleman taking it wide the other way and the ball splashes out of bounds as he does. In this case the scholarship. <laughs> Look at yeah. Thomas. Nice throw. Joshua Stanford. Well that was pretty in these conditions. That's Calvin Klein the tight end on the move. J.C. Coleman again. And Coleman broke a couple of tackles. For the game, an 81 yard touchdown on a two play scoring drive the first time the Canes had it. But from that point on, mistakes continue to pile up. Throughout the night, Virginia Tech has been better. And then they've done stuff like this put together nine play drives that are chewing up clock. J.C. Coleman again on a third and short. He's got the first down. And the they were plus nine in turnover margin. The last two games, they were minus four. They're plus two tonight. And that puts him at plus seven for the year. Six-minute drive going on here. Six and a half, in fact. Coleman slipped on his own that time, trying to cut back. Are you competing for cutest kid right now? Yes. And what place are you in? Kindergarten. That's adorable. A Hokie team that's been driven down the field again, chewing up clock and real estate, and trying to stay in bounds, and everybody running now J.C. Coleman a big run after a 31 night but no interceptions or fumbles J.C. Coleman and he's holding out the football with both hands wrapped around it as the here's Coleman big collision there at the 10 yard line this is how you cap off a game heading to the edge is Coleman He's going to be close to a first down. Back, 311 pounds of him on fourth down and one. Coleman follows him this time, spinning to maybe a first down. I think he got it. 
seven family members make the trip. 50 minute plane ride and they're here in stands. Here's Morris in the end zone. And you just gotta get rid of it. With a Look out, Stephen Morris. Boy, he almost had it swatted away, but he got it complete to Malcolm Lewis. And Lewis out across the 20 to the first down. In scholarship funds, 20 yard pickup on that pass play. Out just inside the 23. Morris floats one out to his tight end. They got across the 30, and he see what they can come up with. They're in a three score hole, so it's going to take some magic, that's for sure. That pass incomplete. Very good. Morris flushed out of the pocket. He's got his safety valve wide open over there. Dallas Crawford. Crawford cuts back across midfield. Dallas Crawford into Hokie territory. Let's go ahead and uh, put this thing to rest. Here comes a blitz. See if that stops him. Morris fires back the other way again. He's got an open receiver, but he's not going to get a first down. That's Alan Hearns again. With 44 seconds to play. Second down and three. Stephen Morris in the gun. Two receivers each way, and down he goes, and it's Luke Thermatty, and that's number three on the night for the big fella. Defensive coaching staff. So he's completely turned things around from the past two weeks, Logan Thomas. In fact, he used eight different receivers as well. Got a flag down. Morris throws it out of bounds. Here they come after Morris, and he got away from one. Throws on the run, and slipping is Dallas Crawford for no game. He's running long routes. Fourth down and six. Final chance for the Canes to add more points. Not going to win the game. They do get another completion. Crawford a little hop step. And the Hokies do drop him at the 25-yard line to preserve a 42-24 victory. A big one on the road. In the Coastal Division for the Hokies of Virginia Tech. That's going to wrap it up for us. 42-24, the final. For Todd Blackledge and Holly Rowe, Brad Nessler saying so long. For Miami Gardens, Florida, the Hokies on the road. A big win in the Coastal of the ACC.